and Simon <laughs> joins us now. Hi, Simon. Hello. He's got absolutely right up my street. Well, we were sent like four or five clips. It's a bit of you. It's a bit of me. <laughs> yeah. it's, of you. it's a bit of me. It's amazing. We've we got four clips to have a look at. And I was I was in. I'm invested. Oh, good too. Uh, so you're great. playing David Lewis. Mm -hmm. It's a new comedy. Everyone else burns. What does that mean? Burns in hell. Burns it very much. Burns oh in goodness. hell. Yeah. <laughs> it's about a uh, family that live in a very small Christian community. Yeah. And they think the world's going to end in a maelstrom of chaos and um, and hellfire. <laughs> yes. Uh, but despite that, it's it's light and upbeat and, and funny. <laughs> <laughs> but from the clips that we saw. You play the father and, and you're very much, you and your wife are very much trying to like, like keep a lid on your kids growing up in the normal world. Sure, yeah, I think religion is really a metaphor in it. It's, it's a very universal family sitcom. It's about kids dealing with overbearing parents and parents dealing with kids who have different principles and priorities than their own. Uh, so despite it feeling quite sort of a very specific and niche world, hopefully it's going to be yeah. sort of broad and I think and all accessible. parents will be kind of connect with that because, you know, it is quite weird when you bring a child into the world and they don't have your values and they don't have your principles and they have completely different personalities. I suppose hopefully. you can relate as well, being well, a new got, father. I've got a five-year-old and a seven-year-old. Yeah. At the moment... I'm, they're modelled exactly like me. It's, it's, it's perfect, but I'm sure it's going to change pretty soon. Yeah. You've got to make peace with that, I think, as a parent, quite quickly. Yeah, they, they are not you. <laughs> it's as simple as that. They are not you. And they're never going to love you as much as they should. <laughs> Seriously, it's been ages since you've done a sitcom. Is it nice to be back? What's it like being back on a sitcom? Well, it's great. I mean, yeah, I, I've sort of... I pick and choose quite carefully what, what sitcoms I, 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 I'm in, but um, this one felt like a no-brainer because, you know, the idea felt really exciting, uh, felt like I hadn't seen this sort of pocket of the UK on, on TV before. Uh, the, the company behind it are brilliant. Uh, it's a company that made Russian Doll and Emily in Paris, so they're, they're pros, yeah, they know what right. they're doing. Yeah. The writers are amazing, uh, Dylan Mapletoft and Oliver Taylor, the scripts are just full of jokes, and the rest of the cast are incredible. I was going to say, Kate, you know, it's one of those, you look down at the cast and go, oh, I love them in yeah. that, oh, I love... So, you know, uh, Kate O'Flynn, uh, Amy James Kelly, uh, Kelly, you know, the, the, wherever you look, and, and and some great kind of little cameos in Yeah, Lolly, Adafopi, yeah. and Kadif Kerwin, Liam Williams, Al Roberts. So uh, um, it was really, it was an easy decision for me. Plus, of course, the, the haircut, that was the clincher. <laughs> when, when I saw that, you I was, say that's I'm, not I'm your in. Real hair. Uh, sadly, it's not, it's not my real hair, but um, I'm growing it out, so maybe. So what is it, just like a, a top wig? Or it's something? a little top wig, they just plonk that on, on top. <laughs> What can you tell us about where the... Have you thought about it, Dermot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm there. Why yeah. not? <laughs> what can you tell us about where the story kind of goes? Where does it, like, over the, over the sort of the course of the... Of the... Um, well, uh, from my perspective, my character, uh, it, it's sort of... It's, he's dealing with his own sort of weird brand of toxic masculinity. So yeah. I think he, he, le he starts off the series thinking he's the patriarch of the family in quite an old-fashioned way, uh, the master of the house. And he sort of learns as the series goes on that that's, that's very much not the case. Yeah. Uh, but, but despite that, like I say, it is very, it's quite a traditional sitcom. Uh, so although there is a bit of an, an arc there as well, every episode has, has funny stories and plots in it. Um, so um, we have to talk in between this, but before I want to talk Friday Night Dinner because it was such a brilliantly conceived, beautiful yeah. show and the pace of it was so lovely and, and obviously you know, Paul Ritter's past now. I mean, what was it like to work with him? Because he was, he was a, just such a phenomenal actor. I remember him yes. in Chernobyl, he was so good. Yeah. He's incredible. I mean, he's, he's an inspiration for me, both as an actor but also just as a, as yeah. a, as a guy as well. Uh, it's, it's weird because he was literally, you know, literally and figuratively a uh, sort of a, a father figure, father figure to me. So um, it was heartbreaking news and a, a, a real shock. Um, and, you know, it's it's obviously, it's really sad that, that it means that Friday Night Dinner has, has, has come to an end as mm. well. But, um, but you couldn't go on with that. Absolutely. It was very much based no on way, that. No way, he's, he's yeah. irreplaceable. Nobody yeah. could come and do that Absolutely. part. Absolutely. I always wondered, you, you're obviously doing this new series. Everything that you touch turns to gold in well, between us. Yeah, I, I, believe, I believe everything that he touches turns to gold. Thank do, you. Do, you. Do you feel like this is going to be a goodie? I you really... Have that I, feeling? Did you have that feeling on in between us? I really hope so. There's a few donkeys in my... <laughs> Golden Check donkeys. out my Wikipedia page. Golden donkeys. We all have golden donkeys. <laughs> um, 
For this one, I'm, I'm so excited about. Uh, we had the screening just before Christmas, and it it went really well, which maybe is the kiss of death, actually. But uh, <laughs> but I, I think it's great, and I hope people are going to. Did you it. feel that when you was on in in between us? Uh, Did you know that it was going to? Oh, absolutely not. Like... No, uh, in between us was an absolute dog's dinner of, a, of, <laughs> of a shoot. Uh, none of us knew what we were doing. It was E4's first ever sitcom. It felt like a totally amateur. Uh, enterprise, uh, but, but, that, but like, maybe that's a good that thing, charm, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. We're all just having fun. Um, you must have seen or have been aware of the link people are making between Will McKenzie and Rishi Sunak. Have you? I, I, I have seen. It's the voice, right? Yeah. We both have this sort of deep, rich, <laughs> velvety baritone. <laughs> uh, that's what it is. Just voices you can sink into. So, oh, someone put it online. Just take a look. <laughs> we have to restore trust. We have to rebuild the economy. And we have to reunite our country. Oh, right. There's a plan B, is there? It's just plan A was so brilliantly devised, I wouldn't have thought we'd need a plan B. What is it, climb over her fence? I mean, it's... I mean, I, I eerie. see it. It's sort <laughs> of see, there, isn't it? it? Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> I should say, that's where the similarities between, between Will <laughs> McKenzie and <laughs> Rishi Sunak end. One is a sort of... Well, I won't go there, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and looking back at your time, like, uh, you, were a, you were president of Footlights, weren't you? That's right, yeah. So what was Footlights? What was that? Footlights is the comedy society at the university I went to, and... Um, it often comes up in interviews because lots of the alumni is incredible. Comedians, the people really? that yeah, it's great. Yeah, lots of amazing people. So, what is it like a safe space to do comedy then? I think so. Yeah, I think what's what's great about it, like any sort of like student comedy society, yeah. is it's just a training ground. It's like going and being being on the London comedy circuit, but without any of the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows you're doing it for the first time. Everyone's very supportive. Well. Oh, incredible. Amazing. Names, yeah. Listen, best of luck with it. We're Thank very, very excited about Everyone it. Everyone Else Burns comes out on the 23rd of January, 10pm on Channel 4.